Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the old row, I believe it's the 1400, and this is the rebuild kit. So, I, I haven't seen a video on YouTube that compares the two, and uh, I'll kind of show you both, and I'll give you a walk around, and I'll tell you guys what I don't like about the rebuild kit. So, starting off with the old one. These are the, the two old hoppers. Uh, they fill both up. I don't know if there's a specific one. Um, but I know for this style of machine, they have little cups. They have a $1 cup, a $5 cup, maybe maybe two of each. And then when somebody puts a bill in, it drops the cup and then it reloads. So you will hear the machine going on, um, humming after you get your quarters. Whereas this one, it'll just drop and the laser will count each one um, when you put the money in. So this one has the computer board here, it pulls out like this, and it's got a, a screen, um, and then power supply, I guess. That's where the bills go. They'll be in the front there. Um, usually the ones go up here, and the fives and tens go down here. Um, this one I don't believe can handle $20 bills, and then this is the bill except they're here. Um, and then here's it closed. It's got a little latch, obviously. So the rebuild kit to the right. Basically, take out. They'll show you exactly where all the screws and stuff to take out of these. And then once you have an empty cabinet, you start putting this in. And this one has the newer American Changer circuit board. Pulls out as well. And you guys, you'll recognize that if you have a, a machine already. Bill hoppers down here. It's got a button on the bottom. And then your two uh, hoppers are up here. So for this style, this kind of pulls out, but it's real goofy with these. If you want these top funnels in, what we did was we cut out the funnels like this. So we can just dump the quarters in. And normally we have them a lot, lot higher in a kind of an angle. But with this front piece still attached, this is all screwed shut. You have to unscrew it, pull this out all goofy, and load from the top. It was a really goofy design. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or uh, I was missing something. But um, this bracket, let's see here. This bracket that I have off actually goes right here. Uh, like this to hold these in, but I disconnected it because you can't take it out with this bracket in. If you can't take it out and this, this thing goes all the way to the ceiling, how can you load the thing? So the main problem I have on this machine is since this bill acceptor's on a crazy downward angle, it's not straight up and down, it's like on an angle like this, instead of like this, it keeps, it'll clip the bill and it'll pop down an inch and go out of order. So I was reading on the forums that they just put a block of wood underneath there to hold it up. And that's actually what I'm gonna try next. But I wanted to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison in case you want to update your machines. The rebuild kit's like 2,500. And uh, I don't know if I'm exactly happy with it yet. I got about five of these machines and uh, they're old, they're workhorses. I got a lot of interchangeable parts, so. But appreciate you guys. See you in the next video.